by Gang Ed here. And by way of showing you just how impressive ScreenFlow is, I thought, hey, why not produce some videos to go along with the mail I'm sending you out, showing you how I'm sending out the mail. Now previously, I just wouldn't have been able to do this because I'd be, it's, the screen real estate would be so tiny that there's no way of you effectively seeing what I was doing properly. And frankly, there was no way, no way that the, there was a machine that was powerful enough or a software program capable enough of recording video like I'm doing right here. This is off the iSight camera. My audio, which I'm using the snowball just over here to my left, your right, whatever. <laughs> Plus, what's on the screen, as you can see here, see here, and it's quite extraordinary, and even record my burps. And, just for a triple twist with sugar on top, if I was to bring up my iTunes BB King um, and do a search for something, one of my favorite songs at the moment, love this song. Just beautiful. Uh, but you're actually hearing this as I'm doing this as well, which just totally rules. Nothing has been capable of doing that. And you watch what I'm doing. So I thought, hey, why not show you some of my favorite apps that I could never show you before to do this? And the first thing I want to show you is Scrivener. So let's bring that back. Thank you, Damien Rice, Nine Crimes. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. So, what you see in front of you here, and I'll zoom this out a bit, is Scrivener. It's a brilliant piece of software, absolutely awesome for writing. And the reason it's so cool is it uses a technique which Gary Halbert taught me, which was using three by five cards to chunk down what you're trying to write. So if you're trying to do a sales letter or a blog post or an email or whatever, usually there are components, right, to that. Now, what's so brilliant about this piece of software, and I'll, and I'll show you here, you can see that it actually allows me, just like screenwriters do when they're putting together a screenplay, create cards for each of the chunks of the sales letter. And you can see as I highlight each one, you'll see the content of what I've written there uh, pops up as well. This is really, really cool because you've got the ability to chunk down. One of the biggest problems people have with writing is that they think, oh, I have to start, you know, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times, and then go down to, uh, well, just this level here where, um, you know, you finish at the end of it and it's done. So, this chunks it down. So our first level is I create little three by five cards for each of these sections. And if I want to highlight that and add another one in, I just click over here and boom, I can add in another one and type it away and off I go. I can select it and then I can delete and so on. So it's really cool. There's a whole research section here where you can add research because people use this for writing entire books um, and so on. But Basically, then once you've got this chunked down, and then if you have a look at this, you're able to then write. And now here's the cool thing about this uh, particular piece of software. Um, one of the coolest things, and again, for the first time ever, I'm able to actually show you this because of how cool this software is. Check this out. Full screen writing mode. This is brilliant. And the reason is, and this is not ScreenFlow that's doing this, this is Scrivener, it blocks everything out and just lets you focus on what's writing. Now, while we're talking about focusing, I wanna just uh, bring your attention to something here, and this is again another Gary Halbert lesson that I learned. Uh, this particular site is actually for sale, and if you're interested, there's details about uh, how you can uh, get in touch with me to uh, buy this particular site, but I digress. Now this site is making an amount of profit each year and I'm not sure exactly how much profit this site is making. Now what most people would do is they would stop what they're doing, stop their writing and then go off, research that stat and come back and you've lost your flow, you've lost all of that. Your brain needs to warm up to write. And so what's what I do and what every great writer I know does, they either make something up 
or put in X's or do something so that they don't break the flow. It's a secret of the best writers and one that's not taught much and it's crazy because it's how you actually end up getting great content. So there you go, that's full screen mode which is really, really cool. And so when I'm ready to go, now I just go up to File and uh, where are we? We want to compile the draft here. I could actually move, see you can see here, and it's excellent because you can see me scratch my nose because it's as itchy as heck. Uh, live on screen, but you can see here I've got all of the different um, sections that are available. Now you can see I've got an untitled card, I don't need that. And you can see I can also add page breaks, I can keep the formatting, I can choose what, when to keep the formatting and what not to keep the forwarding. I can add metadata, uh, notes, all of these sorts of cool things which are just uh, also brilliant. Um, now I can also choose the format and you can see here I've got various formats. This is so cool being able to do this without having to scrabble and run down different screens. Um, so HTML, web archive, rich text. For this in this particular case because I want to use this to put on the blog and to put into Aweber uh, so I can mail it out to all you guys so you can see all of this. Uh, I want to put it in plain text in this particular case and then I press export It'll ask me, uh, and I'll put blog post. Um, today is the 20th, 20.02.08. And I press export. And boom, it's done. And so if I go into Finder, by the way, I'll show you something that's really, uh, really, really cool here, which I bet you a lot of you haven't even used on Macs. And because it's a new leopard thing, is if I go search for today, let's hope I haven't been surfing pornography today, uh, you can see all the files that I have been working on during today, which is pretty spiffy. So it's a very quick way of finding stuff, which is super neat. And here we are, here's the blog post. And you can see how it's compiled it all for me. So I can use this and format it in my different pieces of software, which is really, really very cool. So there you have it. That's uh, Scrivener, and that's the thing I use to write anything that's going to be more than a paragraph or two, um, and it works an absolute treat. So there you have it. So I'll see you next time.